flying low under the radar like a night hawk stealth plane you are hiding out in the shadows keeping from the light of day nobody should doing okay? Let's get you some water. How about you cheeky chickies? You want some water? Oh, melt all that around there. Come on now. You melt it, melt it. There you go. You got tons of water. Look at that. Come on. Chicka, 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 chicka. There we go. <laughs> See how your food looks. Oh yeah, good on food. Hey guys, hey girl, what you doing? <laughs> All right, chickies are doing good. Let's uh, check the rabbit's food now. Elsa's is good. Gray's is good. My fingers are sticking to it. <laughs> it's so cold out here. All right, ginger. Ginger, <laughs> that's so crazy. Uh, all their food looks good. Let's get them covered back up so they can stay warm here in this Arctic blast. And, uh, we need to get out and check those bees.
It's 11 degrees outside, minus one wind chill factor, guys, and I am not opening these bee boxes up. If the bees are still alive, that would surely kill them. What I'm gonna do is pull the bottom cover out and look up and see if we have a bunch of dead bees. I'm hoping there's just a few, but uh, as the, the, what happens is the, the queen is surrounded by the cluster of bees, all tens of thousands of bees. And as the winter progresses, a lot of those on the outside, they die away. The ball gets smaller and smaller and they move around the honey frames, eating all those summer honey frames that uh, they've stored. That's the only purpose of, of honey is, is winter, right? Keeping these guys alive. So we leave enough for them to do that. They move around with the queen, feeding her, keeping her fed, and the outside bees die. Cross my fingers, there's enough to keep her warm in both these apiary colonies. Start off, we'll clean off this front entrance here. Let the bees come and go out the holes there. Now let's pull this bottom cover out. Okay, see a little bit of sign. Now we're gonna look under it and see what we got. Looking under here. And I, ho oh, ho, I do not see a bunch of dead bees. That is a great, great sign. The same thing to 41.36 bees here. Get all this cleaned out. Pull out the bottom cover. All right. You see what they've capped? Now let's look under. Look under 41.36 bees and oh, I don't see big problems there either. Oh, that is awesome. Well, now that we got the bees checked on, let's go check on the canopy in the woods and see if we can get that snow off the top of it before it collapses. Uh, we're pretty sure the bees are okay. We didn't see a bunch of dead ones at the bottom of the hive, so let's move on to the canopy. Canopy is still in one piece, has not collapsed. I'm gonna get inside there and push up with a, uh, a broom and see if we can get all this snow to come down. Woohoo! That did it. Now that we've got the canopy taken care of, let's get out and check some of those trail cameras, see if we can see some deer sign out in the woods. All right, let's go. Down in what I call the valley, right in front of the log home. It's where three uh, valleys come together off the main field. Got a trail camera right here, and this trail camera gets a ton of footage of deer. And I can't wait to see what we got on this one. This camera here is what I call the gulch. Uh, it's a big ravine. I got a tree stand right up there. Shot lots of deer in this area. This is a new browning camera I got. I can't wait to see what's on this. Now let's see if I can make it up this ridge here. Whoo, this is steep.
What I can do is winch it out. When in doubt, winch it out. Oh, oh. So, what happened was, I was almost all the way up to the top, uh, giving it all she got, all she got, Captain. Had the winch going, had the engine going, and I guess, being on the hill the way it was, I either ran out of fuel because all the fuel slashed the back of the tank, thought I had enough fuel, or the battery died, because I was putting out more juice from the, um, uh, winch than the motor was putting out creating because I had to I had to I had a hard time getting it started to begin with so it's cold as it was so I got it released off the winch back down in the gulch I had so many plans uh, to take you today once I got done checking the truck cameras we we're gonna get out in the middle of the field and I had the drone over us and just cut it up cut it up don't guess we're gonna do that today um, but while we're up here at the top of the gulch I got a couple things you might not have ever seen in the wintertime. Check this out guys. Right there is a licking branch. We can see deer tracks going through the woods right there all the way up into the hole there. That is a good spot, a good trail right there. Isn't it just gorgeous out here in the woods? Oh my. So beautiful. Before we go check on some of the sites around the ridge, I wanted to check on the deer blind. And it's a good thing I did because Houston, I think we have a problem. I don't think it's supposed to look like that. What do you think? Let's see if we can fix it. Guys, I don't think it's destroyed. I really don't. The way this thing pops up, that uh, it has a joint in the center that collapses and you pop, pop it back up. So I'm hoping I can get in here and push up on it and it'll be okay. So wish me luck. Let's see here. Hopefully it doesn't collapse on me. That would be really bad. Oh. We did it. We saved it. All right. We made a bunch of noise out here. We're gonna go deer hunting this evening. We need to get out here and let it be quiet for a while. So, shh, we're gonna be hunting deer. Coming up on another ravine here and just all over the ridge like this. Today may not be going as planned, but it's fun nonetheless. A lot of you guys have seen this before, but maybe you, some of you never have, but nobody's probably ever seen it in the winter time. This is the elephant tree, okay? Do you see what I see? I see an elephant. I, I, as clear as day, I see an elephant. If you look up here, we got a trunk. Trunk comes down to a tusk. Now this tusk was longer, but Mike from DD5 broke it off. Shame on you, Mike. And of course we have the eye right here and the big old ear. That's an elephant. Now if you look at it from this angle, 
and this might be a little harder for some of you, I see a dragon. Oh my goodness. Do you see the dragon's neck, the dragon's eye, the dragon's horn, and the dragon's snout? I see a dragon. Look at how this tree grows. It is just all rounded, goes that way, curves around, goes that way. It is just really cool. One more cool feature right under there. I'll have to show you that. This last one, I don't think it looks as much like it with the snow on it as it normally does, but I totally, totally see Snuffle Upagus, right? You see the sad eyes, you see the big old head, you see that big old long trunk it has. That's Snuffle Upagus. <laughs> well, this day is not ending the way I thought it was going to, that's for sure. I thought we'd be uh, flying a drone up and around, watching me uh, tear it up in the field on the four-wheeler. Now I'll be having to uh, take the battery off the four-wheeler, take it back and charge it, and come back and get it out of the gulch later. But we did get to get out here and uh, see some of the unique features of the ridge. Got to take you along with me. Didn't get all the trail cameras got. I got to get the... Uh, four-wheeler going so I can uh, finish getting all the trail camera cards out. Uh, it may be a December, January trail camera video instead of a December trail camera video, uh, but there are still lots of big bucks on them December trail cameras, I guarantee it. And uh, maybe we'll see some in the January that are losing their antlers. Uh, I love looking for antlers out here uh, as soon as the snow melts, like in the in February. It's just, it just really cool to find a shed. It really is. Uh, well, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Again, not what I expected. Didn't end well, but end well enough. <laughs> uh, I don't feel too bad. My sciences, I'm a little, still a little congested, but it was totally worth it to get out here in the woods with you today. So guys, hopefully you subscribed to Ridge Life. 30,000 subscribers here on Ridge Life. That is amazing. I'm just blown away. I got a, a Facebook post uh, today, memory, that said uh, uh, four years ago today, I was celebrating 300 subscribers. I'd just been doing it for four years. So four years ago, 300, now 30,000. Will we get 300,000? Who knows? But I sure love doing this. I love doing this with you guys. So please stick around. Make sure you subscribe. YouTube's been unsubscribing people every day hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, make it solid to make sure you're notified anytime a new video comes out on Ridge Life. Guys, until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. You'll see Jen soon and go Ridge Life.